sorting her crayons, how can she sort the crayons into two groups? I want you to look at it for just a second. How is one way she can sort her crayons? <laughs> She can put the red on one side and the yellow on the other side. You're absolutely right. She can put her red crayons on one side and she can put her yellow crayons in the other box. That is exactly right. How is a different way she could sort her crayons? Okay, very good. She can put the short ones in one box and the long ones in another box. You are absolutely right. How is another way? Um, there are only short and long ones, so you could do that. What we just talked about. Oh. Is there another way we could do it? I, um, five. Um, five. How? Where the? How long of a space in between those two lines there is? Okay, but that would be longest and shortest. Okay. Oh. Um, is there another way? Okay, but we wouldn't know which ones would be which. Those, these are the only two ways, is the color and the length is how we could sort them. Okay, so now you may pick up your pencil. And your crayon, a red crayon and a yellow crayon, and you can sort the, the crayon. So far we've learned about two different graphs. Who remembers one of the two graphs we've gone over so far? A picture graph. Very good. That is when we have a graph and if we do left hand or right hand and left hand and then we draw a picture for each person that has that. Okay? So that is a picture graph. What is the other graph we have talked about? Bar a bar graph. So we could do the same exact graph except for instead of a picture, <coughs> we could color it. So this is a bar graph, so it kind of looks like bars because they're solid, okay? So we've learned about two different types of graphs. Today we're going to learn about another graph, and it's something that we've already done with Fun Friday every Friday. We are going to learn about tally marks, okay? When we get out our golden tickets, we have to put them in tally. tally marks. So we should already know what tally marks are, but to put them on a graph so that we know what, um, how many of in each. So we need to be able to read a graph with tally marks. Also remember, when we vote, um, on our 
choices for our, our reward, I will put a tally mark. Why do you think I put a tally mark? Two, three, four, four. To know who voted for which choice. I like to put tally marks because it's very quick. So if I look at this student, I can draw a tally mark. I look at this student, I draw another tally mark. I look at this student, draw another tally mark. Instead of having to write one and then cross it out, oh, nope, I have two and then cross it out. Nope, I have three that voted for that. That takes a lot of time, doesn't it? But a tally mark, all I have to do is draw it real quick when I see that student. So then I don't have to spend my time counting. Okay, so tally marks can be very useful for when I'm counting um, very quickly and want to mark things very quickly. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about today is a tally mark. Now, remember, when we do a tally mark, we do one, two, three, four, and then we cross with the fifth one, okay? Thank you for remembering. So, when I see, whoops, when I see this, I should automatically know how many are in there. Five. Five. So then I can start there and count on, right? So then I have five, six, seven, eight. See how I can quickly count that? So how many pieces do I have? So what am I going to write here? Eight. So if each tally mark is one tally mark, it stands for one child, and this stands for how many? Five. More children like pizza. We can tell because this is only three. But this is five, which is already bigger than three. But then we have three more here. So I know that this is eight. Which one is bigger, three or eight? Eight. So more children chose pizza. Okay? So that's how we're doing tally marks today. I want to go over one more time. If I draw, um, let's do six tally marks. Can you help me do six tally marks? One, two, three, four, cross, that's five, six. Okay, remember that. If I have 10, it will look like this. Okay, but what happens if I have another one? It's extra, it goes by itself. It goes by itself. Okay, so I'm just going to add that down here. I am not going to add it to one of the other time marks. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I know.